Okay, come on, girl, let's go. Carolyn Buma is happy she's able to take 16-year-old Sophie for a walk. She'd been losing mobility to systemic sclerosis. Every morning you wake up seeing what things you could do, what things you couldn't do, how far your hands were um, turning inward. It's a very scary thing. Systemic sclerosis is when the body overproduces collagen, causing scar tissue to form in the skin, muscles, joints, and internal organs. It also constricts blood flow, causing Raynau syndrome in most patients. University of Utah rheumatologist Dr. Tracy Freck recently finished a phase two trial of a drug called anabasum. It doesn't suppress the immune system like other drugs, but improves tissue function. Not only does it have antifibrotic effects or scarring effects, but also probably improves perfusion or blood flow to the different organs. Patients reported renewed skin tone and feeling and sleeping better. This tsunami that f I felt like had taken over my body was calm. While the skin was the primary thing that we're saying the su success of the drug is there, um, lots of other information is captured, and that can help inform the design of the next stage of the trial. Carolyn now takes anabasum as a regular medication. She has no side effects and says she continues to improve. I'm Marty Salt reporting.